Here are some differences between the American and the European Badger because my last video on this got muted for some reason. So, American and European Badgers are both Badgers in the Mesolid family, however beyond that they're not the most closely related things, and they do fill a similar ecological niche but on separate continents. They both are very powerfully built, short and stocky, with long claws that are almost entirely meant for digging. However, there are quite a few differences. The European Badger is actually larger than the European Badger in both length and weight. They also tend to have a shorter lifespan in the wild, however, in captivity they are relatively the same lifespan. They tend to prefer more fields and wooded areas and aren't found in many very extreme ecosystems and environments. And while classified as carnivores, technically, they do tend to fall on the more omnivorous side and will eat things like worms and like other meat and insects, as well as berries, fruit, plants, all that. They do tend to be quite a bit more social than the American badgers and sometimes live in burrows or sets of many, many badgers, mostly related badgers in the same family or multiple families all live together. So they can have quite a large network of interconnected badger burrows that they just share with all of their buddies. They also tend not to travel as much and like to stay in a smaller range and territory than the American ones do. They're also more diurnal and can be seen more often during the day, and in some areas they do hibernate during the winter. On the other hand, the American badger tends to be smaller in both length and weight than the European one, and they do tend to have long longer overall wild lifespans. They are also overall almost entirely carnivorous, eating almost all meat, but have been observed eating other things like some plants and honey, but they have a way more meat-based diet than the European ones. And while they do prefer less extreme environments like woods and grasslands, they can be found in more extreme and less and while they prefer less extreme environments like the woods and grasslands, they can be found in less hospitable places such as mountains or deserts. And while they have been observed going out in the day, not uncommonly they do tend to be more nocturnal and they don't really do true hibernation. They are less active during the winter and spend a lot of their time sleeping in their burrow, but it is not actual hibernation like the European badgers do. They're also much less social. They aren't often seen with other badgers. However, they have been observed hanging out with and working with coyotes in order to better catch food. So often certain badgers and coyotes will form partnerships in order to take down and eat larger prey animals, which is neat and is not observed in the European badgers, but they don't really associate with other badgers unless it's for mating purposes. Overall, they are both very interesting animals in their own right.